Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Simprosis Infomedia. In this video, we will see Facebook Commerce's enhanced catalog submission. Great to see that you have interests in the commerce feature with enhanced catalog of Facebook. Currently, if you would like to use our feature, you must have Feed for Google Shopping app installed on your store. If you don't have that app as installed, here is our another video that will help you complete the setup of the app. Link is given in the description below. Once you have configured your setup with Google, or, if you are already using our app for Google, you will see the screen like this. Then please go to the integrations page. On the right hand side on this page, you can see there is a Facebook product catalog integration section. Click on login with Facebook. Make sure you are authenticating the app to work with the account on which you have got your business manager account with ownership access. Once you complete the process of the authenticating the app, you will see that it is connected. Currently we are offering Facebook add-on as completely free for the merchants signing up till the 31st of December 2020. Now, from this page, please go back to manage products. Then start assigning Google product categories. You can assign them using bulk edit. We have also shared a link of Google Doc that will help you understand which attribute values can be assigned through bulk edit feature of the app and which can not. Okay, now we will try to assign the product category to this refrigerator. Here, I could find the closest category. Now, the moment I assign a category, you can see there are new fields here. It is highly advised that you add those values there if you don't have set them in the variant option. For example, you may have a refrigerator with capacity as variants. Then you don't have to define them here in these extra fields. But, if you don't have refrigerator products with capacity as variants, instead you have colors as variants, then you should add the capacity value here. Here, I am adding length, width, and height as well. Once I add these values, please click on this button to save the changes. Once you have made any change in any one product, you can move to work on another product. But, if you are done with the data optimization, you should wait for about 20 minutes before you check them in the catalogs section of the Facebook Business Manager account. After about 20 minutes, we can see the product values defined in the app are now appearing like this over here. Now, it is the job of Facebook to show these additional values and allow to use such values as filters in the display catalog. Please note. You must assign Google product category first to be able to add category specific values in the app. Google product categories can be assigned using bulk edit feature of the app. You are highly recommended that you add as much information as possible through all these fields. It is going to help users get precise information about the products. We don't have support for the bulk edit of all the attributes for now. You can check them in the Google Doc spreadsheet link shared. If you see any attributes value not getting processed properly to the Facebook Catalog Manager, kindly click on the Get Support button given in the bottom right corner of the app, and, write to us. Feel free to write to us, if you would like to know more about Facebook Commerce.